All right. Okay. So we're going to work on equivalent fractions. Our equivalent fraction that we're going to find right now is half. So what is, I'm going to take all of these other little pieces and put them in little groups. So we'll have an idea of what we're doing. So the 12s go there. The 10s are going to come here. The 8s are coming over here. The 6s. The fifths, okay, so the first one we're going to start off is one third. Could one third be made into a half? Mm. So no, one third can't be an equivalent fraction of one half, of a half. Okay, our next one we're going to do is one fourth. Can we do a one fourth? So one half, we can go like this and this way, it makes it easier for you to see. So one half is equivalent to what? Equals two. Two, two what? Two. Forty. Two. Four. Two fourths. And this one isn't working well. So now we did our two fourths, so we'll put that over here. There goes my marker. Okay, our next one is fifths. Can we make a fifth into a half? Is a fifth equivalent to one half? So what do you say? You're going to say no. no. Okay, so we'll put that over there. Next is our one sixth. Can, can the six be equivalent, Grant, to a half? And if so, how many? There's one sixth. There's two sixths. So, can the six be equivalent to one half? Yep. Okay, how many? What do I write? Three. Three what? Three? Six. Three sixths. Okay, give me your six, and we'll go on to the next one. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay, what comes next is, are the ace. Is there anything with one ace that can be equivalent to half? How many eighths are equivalent to a half? Grant? Oh no. Grant, how many eighths are equivalent to a half? You have four. Four eighths. Okay, I'll take these. Next comes our tenths. Can so many tenths be equivalent to a half? are equivalent to a half. You have, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. So five tenths. tenths is the same as one half. Okay, next we have our twelfths.
looks like one twelfths are equivalent to one half. How many twelfths? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six twelfths. Now, you know we have a question here. We're going to put all these back. And then we're going to find out about one-thirds. Let's see if there are any equivalent things, or two-thirds. You know, sometimes we don't have these pieces here. So, let's see, we're going to work on two-thirds. Can we find two-thirds? Here's two-thirds. You want to put them on that? Okay. What fraction do you think is going to be equivalent to two-thirds? You know a way we can find out? If we multiply each side by two. So two times two is what? Two times two is... Four. Four. Good. And three times two is? Six. Six. So it looks like there a six might be equal. Let's try. You want to try sixes? Here's one sixth. And how many six does it say we need? We need four. Four. Let's try four. One, two, three, four. That was a lot easier, wasn't it? Okay, so that looks easy. Easy peasy. Do you think... Well, we'll see. We will multiply this time by 3. And 3 here. So 2 times 3 is? 6. 6. six. And 3 times 3 is? 9. 9. Do we have any 9s? No, we can't try that one out. So we'll go on to something else. Well, we did 3 on both sides. What, if, what would be the next one? We could try 4. 4. Doing stuff for a very long time. We're almost done. Yes. We are almost done. Don't worry. Two times four is what? Two times four is eight. Eight. And three times four is nine. Not quite nine. Three times four is two. Twelve. 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 Right. We have twelve, don't we? So, let's see if that's correct. Here are our, oh, here are the twelfths. You want to put twelfths on, Grant? I just like to sleep because I got up so early. I know you did get up early. But, you know, we have about five more minutes, or we can work longer than five. We can either get no. this done right now, <laughs> so or we can work longer. I want to get this done right okay, now. Okay, let's get this done. We have two more to do. We have the twelfths. So let's see how many twelfths. It says how many here? Grant, it says how many here? Eight. So why don't you see if that's right? One. Let's count them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. Great job. Okay, we're going to do one more. Did Were we able to find any fifths? Let's check and see if our multiplication is wrong here. Do you think any fifths could be the same as two-thirds? Let's check it out. Can you make that into two-thirds? One. Two, three. No. No, we can't. Would you want to try any others, or are we all done? We're all done. Okay. I'm going to go and relax. Okay, go relax.
So this is our board. And this is working with equivalent fractions. This is only the third time that Grant has worked on equivalent hey, fractions. Hey, just got to tell you something. Just got to tell you something, Rebecca. Why does she have this? Those are for my grandbabies. That's why I'm showing mom. Oh, okay. Anyway, with this we have, um, he was able to see that it, their, a fifth couldn't be equivalent at all to two-thirds because we checked it out with our trusty old um, fraction circles. You can, don't have to buy the fraction circles. You can actually make them yourself if you want, which is so much nicer and so much cheaper. And so this week, Last week was the first time that we started multiplication along with trying to figure out if uh, two-thirds was what was equal to the two-thirds fractions. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a nice day. Bye.